Outline, Wikipedia article audio. An outline, also called a hierarchical outline, is a list arranged to show hierarchical relationships and is a type of tree structure. An outline is used to present the main points or topics of a given subject. Each item in an outline may be divided into additional sub-items. If an organizational level in an outline is to be subdivided, it shall have at least two subcategories, as advised by major style manuals in current use. An outline may be used as a drafting tool of a document, or as a summary of the content of a document or of the knowledge in an entire field. It is not to be confused with the general context of the term outline, which a summary or overview of a subject presented verbally or written in prose. The outlines described in this article are lists, and come in several varieties. Types of Outlines By Style Sentence Outline Topic Outline A Sample Topic Outline Application, An Outline of Human Knowledge By Prefixing Used Bare outlines. Alphanumeric outline. Decimal outline. By specialized purpose. Reverse outline. Integrated outline. Handwritten vs. computerized. Applications. Composition. Summarization. Personal Information Management Outliners Notes A sentence outline is a compositional tool for writing a document, such as an essay, a paper, a book, or even an encyclopedia. It is a list used to organize the facts or points to be covered, and their order of presentation, by section. Topic outlines list the subtopics of a subject, arranged in levels, and while they can be used to plan a composition, they are most often used as a summary, such as in the form of a table of contents or the topic list in a college course's syllabus. Outlines are further differentiated by the index prefixing used, or lack thereof. Many outlines include a numerical or alphanumerical prefix preceding each entry in the outline, to provide a specific path for each item, to aid in referring to and discussing the entries listed. An alphanumerical outline uses alternating letters and numbers to identify entries. A decimal outline uses only numbers as prefixes. An outline without prefixes is called a bare outline. Specialized applications of outlines also exist. A reverse outline is a list of sentences or topics that is created from an existing work. As a revision tool, it may show the gaps in the document's coverage so that they may be filled, and may help in rearranging sentences or topics to improve the structure and flow of the work. An integrated outline is a composition tool for writing scholastic works in which the sources, and the writer's notes from the sources, are integrated into the outline for ease of reference during the writing process. A software program designed for processing outlines is called an outliner. Outlines are differentiated by style, the inclusion of prefixes, and specialized purpose. There are also handwritten outlines and digitized outlines, such as those contained within an outliner. There are two main styles of outline, sentence outlines and topic outlines. A sentence outline is a hierarchical outline composed of sentences. Its primary use is as a compositional tool for writing a document, such as an essay, a paper, a book, or even an encyclopedia. It is a list used to organize the facts or points to be covered, and their order of presentation, by section. It can also be used as a publishing format, 
in which the outline itself is the end product. A topic outline is a hierarchical outline in which each entry is a subtopic of the subject of the outline. Items are arranged in levels, and may objects, names, values, categories, and so on. While topic outlines can be used to plan contents or draft a composition, they are typically intended for publishing and distribution. One application of topic outlines is the college course overview, provided by professors to their students, to describe the scope of the course. Another application is as a subject outline, such as for an encyclopedia. Propedia is the historical attempt of the Encyclopedia Britannica of presenting a hierarchical outline of knowledge in a separate volume in the 15th edition of 1974. The outline of knowledge was a project by Mortimer Adler. Propedia had three levels, ten parts at the top level, 41 divisions at the middle level and 167 sections at the bottom level, numbered, for example, 1. Matter and energy, 1.1 atoms, 1.1.1. Structure and properties of atoms. A feature included in many outlines is prefixing. Similar to section numbers, an outline prefix is a label placed at the beginning of an outline entry to assist in referring to it. Bare outlines include no prefixes. An alphanumeric outline includes a prefix at the beginning of each topic as a reference aid. The prefix is in the form of Roman numerals for the top level, uppercase letters for the next level, Arabic numerals for the next level, and then lowercase letters for the next level. For further levels, the order is started over again. Each numeral or letter is followed by a period, and each item is capitalized, as in the following sample. Thesis statement, email and internet monitoring, as currently practiced, is an invasion of employees' rights in the workplace. Some call the Roman numerals A heads, the uppercase letters, B heads, and so on. Some writers also prefer to insert a blank line between the A heads and B heads, while often keeping the B heads and C heads together. If more levels of outline are needed, lowercase Roman numerals and numbers and lowercase letters, sometimes with single and double parentheses can be used, although the exact order is not well defined, and usage varies widely. The scheme recommended by the MLA Handbook, and the Purdue Online Writing Lab, among others, uses the usual five levels, as described above, then repeats the Arabic numerals and lowercase letters surrounded by parentheses IA1, AI, and does not specify any lower levels, though is usually next. In common practice, Lower levels yet are usually Arabic numerals and lowercase letters again, and sometimes lowercase Roman again, with single parentheses 1ai but usage varies. MLA style is sometimes incorrectly referred to as APA style, but the APA publication manual does not address outline formatting at all. A very different style recommended by the Chicago Manual of Style based on the practice of the United States Congress in drafting legislation, suggests the following sequence, from the top to the seventh level, IA1. AI capital Roman numerals with a period, capital letters with a period, Arabic numerals with a period, italic lowercase letters with a single parenthesis, Arabic numerals with a double parenthesis, italic lowercase letters with a double parenthesis, and italic lowercase Roman numerals with a single parenthesis, though the italics are not required. Because of its use in the U.S. Code and other U.S. law books, many American lawyers consequently use this outline format.
Another alternative scheme repeats all five levels with a single parenthesis for the second five IA1 AI and then again with a double parenthesis for the third five. Many oft-cited style guides besides the APA publication manual, including the AP style book, the NYT manual, Fowler, the Guardian style guide, and Strunk and White, are curiously silent on the topic. One side effect of the use of both Roman numerals and uppercase letters in all of these styles of outlining is that in most alphabets, I may be an item at both the top and second levels. This is usually not problematic because lower level items are usually referred to hierarchically. For example, the third sub sub item of the fourth sub item of the second item is item 2. D3. So, the ninth sub-item of the first item is item II, and only the top level one is item I. The decimal outline format has the advantage of showing how every item at every level relates to the whole, as shown in the following sample outline. Thesis Statement, Dash Special types of outlines include reverse outlines and integrated outlines. A reverse outline is an outline made from an existing work. Reverse outlining is like reverse engineering a document. The points or topics are extracted from the work, and are arranged in their order of presentation, by section, in the outline. Once completed, the outline can be filled in and rearranged as a plan for a new improved version of the document. An integrated outline is a helpful step in the process of organizing and writing a scholarly paper. When completed the integrated outline contains the relevant scholarly sources for each section in the outline. An integrated outline is generally prepared after the scholar has collected, read, and mastered the literature that will be used in the research paper. Shields and Rangarajan recommend that new scholars develop a system to do this. Part of the system should contain a systematic way to take notes on the scholarly sources. These notes can then be tied to the paper through the integrated outline. This way the scholar reviews all of the literature before the writing begins. An integrated outline can be a helpful tool for people with writer's block because the content of the paper is organized and identified prior to writing. The structure and content is combined and the author can write a small section at a time. The process is less overwhelming because it can be separated into manageable chunks. The first draft can be written using smaller blocks of time. For a comparison, see Outliners, below. Outlines are used for composition, summarization, and as a development and storage medium. Merriam-Webster's Manual for Writers and Editors recommends that the section headings of an article should when read in isolation, combine to form an outline of the article content. Garson distinguishes a standard outline presented as a regular table of contents from a refined tree-like hierarchical outline, stating that such an outline might be appropriate, for instance, when the purpose is taxonomic. Hierarchical outlines are rare in quantitative writing, and the researcher is well advised to stick to the standard outline unless there are compelling reasons not to. Writers of fiction and creative non-fiction such as John Franklin, may use outlines to establish plot sequence, character development, and dramatic flow of a story, sometimes in conjunction with free writing. Preparation of an outline is an intermediate step in the process of writing a scholarly research paper, literature review, thesis, or dissertation. A special kind of outline incorporates scholarly sources into the outline before the writing begins. In addition to being used as a composition tool during the drafting process, outlines can also be used as a publishing format. 
Outlines can be presented as works table of contents, but they can also be used as the body of a work. The outline of knowledge from the 15th edition of the Encyclopaedia Britannica is an example of this. Wikipedia includes outlines that summarize subjects. Professors often hand out to their students at the beginning of a term, a summary of the subjects to be covered throughout the course in the form of a topic outline. It may also be included as part of a larger course synopsis. Outlines are also used to summarize talking points for a speech or lecture. Outlines, especially those used within an outliner, can be used for planning, scheduling, and recording. An outliner is a specialized type of word processor used to view, create, build, modify, and maintain outlines. It is a computer program, or part of one, used for displaying, organizing, and editing hierarchically arranged text in an outline's tree structure. Textual information is contained in discrete sections called nodes, which are arranged according to their topic-subtopic relationships, sort of like the members of a family tree. When loaded into an outliner, an outline may be collapsed or expanded to display as few or as many levels as desired. Outliners are used for storing and retrieving textual information, with terms, phrases, sentences, or paragraphs attached to a tree. So rather than being arranged by document, information is arranged by topic or content. An outline in an outliner may contain as many topics as desired. This eliminates the need to have separate documents, as outlines easily include other outlines just by adding to the tree. The main difference between a handwritten outline and a digital one, is that the former is usually limited to a summary or blueprint of a planned document, while the latter may easily include all of the content of the entire document and many more. In other words, as a handwritten work an outline is a writing tool, but on a computer, it is a general-purpose format supported by a robust development and display medium capable of handling knowledge from its creation to its end use. Outliners may be used in content creation instead of general word processors for capturing, organizing, editing, and displaying knowledge or general textual information. Outliners are ideal for managing lists, organizing facts and ideas, and for writing computer programs. They are also used for goal and task management, and for writing books and movie scripts. The graphical counterpart to outliners are mind mappers.